Hello and welcome to my channel Green Lion Goddess Tarot. This is your daily reading for November the 15th and this is the full moon in Taurus. My goodness and this is going to be the last super moon of our lifetime that is making a trine to Pluto in Capricorn <laughs> as Pluto is moving and changing signs. And so let's see what's coming in. Seven of Wands, the Page of Swords, the Two of Pentacles. There's going to be instability around with Uranus. There's making uh, a conjunction with the moon. This can be volatile, emotional volatility, emotional change. It can be irritation. It could be people doing or oh, feeling, doing shocking things. <laughs> Shocking changes, unexpected things coming through with it. Let's see what else is coming through. The, the Nine of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles, the beautiful Earth Queen coming through. So you might be hearing things on the wind about um, that something that could create a little bit of emotional drama. Uh, something could, something or someone could have tipped a situation a little bit out of balance here, and it feels. Like you have a choice really to how you want to respond to that because we see with the four of wands, happy home, happy heart and the nine of cups, you can rebalance the situation into something that feels like this is what I really want and it's bringing me a lot more fulfillment. You could be weighing up the options. Do I want to put my defences up? Do I want to get defensive? with what I'm hearing or do I want to open up to something that feels on a higher level more expansive for my heart and something that is more open and generous that can bring equilibrium to a situation, a relationship around your home or how you're feeling around your home or a close personal relationship. It can be anybody. It can be a friend. It could be a partner. It could be anybody. And so this beautiful Queen of Pentacles nurtures the comfort nurtures something, wants to bring in stability when there is something that is unstable here. And so you know, the, the moon in Taurus is exalted. In The moon is exalted in Taurus because the moon is all about our emotions, how we're feeling and our intuition. It can be around our home as well. And in Taurus, it brings this beautiful sense of groundedness, stability, sensuality. It's a very, very beautiful energy. It works really well. And then you throw Uranus in the mix and it's like, oh, okay, I want stability. I want to be feeling really comfortable and grounded and nurturing this beautiful sense of simplicity and a stable home in some way. And then there's this Two of Pentacles, which is like there's these waves of emotion or something's um, unbalanced or tipping the balance, so it's out of balance. But they are saying with the 1111 of the Four of Wands and the Nine of Cups is it is all about just saying how do I want to feel? How do I want to feel here? And choosing to feel fulfilled and happy and to be feeling a lot better than this sort of like, whoa, these big waves. But it might come in waves. It might be like, whoa, one minute I'm feeling this way and one minute I'm feeling that way. And uh, it will eventually calm down though. <laughs> That's the thing. And it really is about opening your mind to Uranus ultimately, it's a bit like the Tower card, wants us to step wants to shake things up so that we can step into a new energy that is what we really want, what we're aligned to. And so it feels like if you're being emotionally stirred up or someone's being emotionally stirred up or is a situation around that that's coming in, it's showing you what's not right for you, what's something's not a great foundation for you, it's not fulfilling, it's not what you really want. And to actually go up to the higher octave and see ultimately Uranus wants to shift our perspective, bring about revolution and change for the higher good, for a higher purpose. And so, yeah, there could be a sense that if you can go up to that higher purpose and see why there's these waves and there's this instability or someone might be feeling that way, um, what is the higher purpose of this? Because it's making a beautiful trine to Pluto, which is saying you can transform an area of your life. 
that this is the Capricorn Queen here with the Queen of Pentacles. You can build and grow an area of your life into something that is what you really want, which is something that is bringing you fulfillment. So there's these beautiful big waves of like I'm understanding and learning so much what this Page of Swords is. What does this mean, these waves of emotion or this instability? What is the higher octave of Mercury, which is Uranus? What is the higher consciousness around this? What is it? teaching me what can be transformed so that ultimately we can build and grow it into something that is uh, yeah val valuable and aligned to what it is that you really want so you can get yourself into a better position but it's a bit of a roller coaster ride it can be with it so that is the reading for the beautiful full moon in Taurus and the November the 15th uh, stay tuned for the mid-monthlies. They are coming out over the weekend and so stay tuned for them and I have a special gift coming with them as well, a little surprise. So stay tuned for that and please like, subscribe, share, leave a comment, follow me on Instagram and happy full moon.